All right, gang, going into a new computer animation tutorial today. And what we are going to do is to create a animation of Snowfall. And so in order to create this animation, you'll notice uh, looking at the project file here, there's no tweens that you can see. But where there is a tween is inside of the Snowfall uh, graphic. So if I double click on that, you can see there's a tween in here. Right? And so uh, if I just zoom out a little bit on this project again, um, we'll see that the uh, snowfall is twice the width of the stage so that you can see it fall um, all the way down and then it repeats. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. We'll go ahead and click New, click Create, hit the WIC Editor. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, change the color and name my project. So in order to see my snowflakes standing out on the background, I want to give a background color. You can choose any color, it doesn't have to be light blue. Uh, this will ultimately be for our holiday card project. So maybe call it holiday card or maybe just call it snow. And we'll hit apply. All right, now we'll get started and we'll add one more layer to our project. So we'll have two layers ultimately. Um, the first layer that we want to work on we'll call snow. So let's call this top layer uh, snow and we will take our brush tool and start to draw some snow. So I could start with kind of this brush size is fine, 10, and I'm just going to kind of work within like a quarter area here of my page. I want to make my color white and just going to kind of randomly fill like a quarter of my stage with some of these size 10 brush dots. And then I'll turn the size down maybe to seven, and then kind of randomly scatter some more dots in this quarter, and then go down to maybe three. You could also type these into the space here. Do a couple more dots, small ones sprinkled throughout, and that should be pretty good. So next thing I'm going to do is take all of these dots, going to just click and drag with my cursor tools to select all of them, hit Command C and then Command V to copy and paste. And then I'll just try and drag these, oops, Command Z, Command Z. Just going back, you got to make sure you click on one of the dots that's actually in this group in order to move it over. All right, and then that's over here. And then I can click and drag again to select all of these and Command C and Command V to paste them again. Again, make sure you get one of these uh, snowflakes that's got the square around it. That way you know you're getting the whole group. And just move this down to kind of fill in the rest of the space here. Let me click off to the side. That looks pretty good spread over everywhere. And so the next thing we're going to want to do is copy this one more time. I'll zoom out a little bit for this one. Maybe take my pan tool and just kind of move this down because we're going to copy and paste it up into this area up here. Again, going to click and drag here to select all of these. And then I'm going to hit Command C and then Command V one more time. Again, try and take one of these with the square around it and pull that up to the top. All right, so now I want to take everything I want to take all of these snowflakes and group them together into a clip. So again, with my cursor tool, I'm going to just click and drag and make sure I select all of these. You could also hit Command A. Command A will select all. And then I'll just want to go over here in my inspector and click on Make Clip. And that will group all these together into a clip. When I click off of it, you'll see the dark blue line around the side. And so now I'll expand these frames um, to whatever the length that you're going to make your holiday card the length of. Uh, the other thing I will need to do is draw the ground. I'll do that in a second. And so, yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that now, actually. So I'm going to take my brush tool again. Make sure I have layer 2 selected, and I'll call this one ground. And just going to kind of paint a area that goes off the edge, maybe a little hill, and let's see, we'll take my fill bucket tool and just click to fill that shape. So now we have a snowy ground as well. 
All right, so now what we got to do is do a tween, but it's got to be inside of our snowflakes. So if I double click on one or any of these snowflakes, uh, that will take me inside of the clip. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. Uh, what I want to do is expand this clip to maybe 24 frames or so. So that means it's about two seconds for a snowflake to kind of cross the stage. And so I'll click on the Add Tween button. And now what I want to do is drag this whole group down so that you, you can line up the top with the top of this with the uh, middle cross of this crosshair. So I'm going to take this and try to drag it straight down. So once that lines up with the middle of that crosshair, again, make sure that's going straight down. So I'm kind of moving it over so it's lined up on the sides as well. And then, um, Oops, this is actually what's supposed to be on the end frame, right? So uh, let's Command Z that. Going to go to the end frame here and then click and drag this one more time. Again, just making it line up right with the middle crosshair. Go straight down and that should do it. All right, quick and easy job for this project. Um, again, this will then go into um, your next animation assignment and uh, kind of building on this with adding in any other details you want, a um, message that says happy holidays, or you know making something fly by or through the scene, anything like that is up to you. And the nice part about this is that the animation can be made at any length. You just can expand these number of frames um, to any length that your animation ends up going. And then the snow clip will play on repeat. And so that's why you would put it inside of a clip. All right, sounds good. Hope everyone has a good time with this. Has some fun getting creative with their own snowy animations.